Well, a decade after the Narendra Modi-led Bharatiya Janata Party brought back a single-party system to the national stage, India is to have coalitions on both sides of the opposition government divide. These elections have showed more than anything else that the power to accept or reject remains in the hands of the people. Here's more. The picture in 2019 gives way to that of 2024, and the sea change says so much. The NDA fell from its record high Lok Sabha tally of 337 in 2019 to 294 in 2024. And there's a strong opposition in place, from 120 in 2019 to a respectable 232 this time. As electronic voting machines gave out trends on Tuesday morning, it soon became clear that the exit polls across the board have been way off the mark. Scoreboard 2024 punctures the complete concentration of power in Modi that had been the hallmark of the last 10 years of the Modi government. The India bloc that had played its cards right had turned into a force for the Modi government to reckon with. Looking more closely at states that pulled Team Modi down, these same states had been the gateways to power in 2019. This time they lifted the India bloc's tally. Big blow for the BJP in UP, reduced to the second largest party with 33 compared to 62 in 2019 and big inroads for Akhilesh Yadav Samajwadi party that got 37. Among key seats the BJP lost in Uttar Pradesh, Faizabad constituency that includes Ayodhya, four months after the Ram Mandir was consecrated. Amethi returned to the Congress fold. Maharashtra was considered a state which might make or break the BJP's fortunes in 2024 Lok Sabha elections, and it held true to that, bringing the BJP down nine seats from 23 in 2019. Uddhav Thakare and Sharad Pawar went into the elections battling big odds, with their party split and splinter groups moving to the NDA fold. But results clearly showed that the people had decisively backed the original leaders over their rivals. And in West Bengal, where the BJP made a huge push to maximize seat count in a state where it has slowly but surely built a base, Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee held her own. Banerjee crafted a campaign that focused on a connect with the state's electorate, especially rural women. These are the two men who turn out kingmakers, Chandra Babu Naidu's 16 parliamentary seats from Andhra Pradesh and Nitish Kumar's 12 seats are invaluable for the NDA to stay in power now. PM Narendra Modi's victory lap at the BJP headquarters didn't quite have the same elan as previous ones that had showcased an undefeatable air. The party on its own remained far from the majority mark but the NDA had made it there and Modi was PM again for a record equaling third term. The parliamentary parties of both the BJP and the NDA alliance unanimously confirmed that. NDA ki laga tar tisri bar sarkar banni tay hai. But hugely distinct from anything like it in the past decade, the opposition is preparing strategies for the road ahead. The newly muscled India bloc parties held meetings in New Delhi, attended by their leaders from around the country, and spirits are up, all of which underlines the turning point that these elections have proved to be. For all the latest news, download the Beyond app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.